Hi and welcome to another DCG tutorial. So today we're on the 2012 paper, uh, section A, question A3. So a short question. So we'll read through it now. So the careful positioning of road signs uh, is of particular importance on dangerous bends, as shown in the image below. So you're given your image here with your sign. This is to ensure that they are clearly visible by day and also by night. So the drawing on the right shows or the drawing on the right below shows the plan view of a hairpin U-shaped bend. Point P shows the position of the car traveling along the road from A to B at night. So this is our point P, so it's traveling along in an anti-clockwise direction. The angle L represents the beam of light from the headlights, and S shows the position of the road sign. So this is S, the road sign, and then your beam of light here is represented by L. Determine the position of the car on the roadway when the sign becomes illuminated initially. So what they want you to do is show where point P would be on the road or where the car would be on the road when you first see that sign. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to join the sign to the center of that hairpin bend. And what I'm going to do is, rather than trying to rotate the car around first and try and work with the angles of the beam and so on, I'm going to rotate the sign around to where the car is to represent where the sign would be in the beam of light if the point P was there and S was rotated down to meet it. So I'm going to rotate S about point O. So I'm going to rotate point S down. And what I want to see is where point S would be initially visible for that car. So we're going to call that S1 for a minute. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to join that point S1 where the new sign is. Join that back to O again. Join that back to our center. And what that's given me now is it's given me an angle in here. The angle to which I rotated point S. So let's measure it for the safe side and see what the angle was. So it is 40, uh, 5. Six and seven. Okay, so 47 degrees. So by rotating point S down, I've seen how many degrees I need to rotate point P around point O to see where S is visible. So what we've done is we brought the sign down to where the car is, and by finding that angle, I now know how far to rotate the car to where the sign is uh, originally placed. So that angle, which we said was 47, just need to rotate that around point O again. So that angle now is the same. And now I've rotated the car around point O, and this point here, right in there, is point P1. Here is point P2. And we rotated point P up to show exactly where point P would have to be for that sign to be illuminated first. Okay, and that's the question done. So rather than trying to go rotating the car first, what you do is rotate, rotate the sign down, rotate the point down to where it initially hits the beam of light. Once you find that angle, rotate the car about the bend that many degrees, and that will show you where it first initially sees the sign. So that's the question done.
I hope that helped. If it did, leave a like. And if you'd like to see other questions done, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, thank you and good luck.